This is a simplified version of the tutorial that you can see in our Illustrator for Marketers online video course which shows you how to create 18 different graphics and infographics that you might want to use when marketing your company's products. One key thing I will skip over to keep the video short is how to apply colours. If you'd like to look at how to do that, look at our earlier YouTube video, Three Essential Skills for Illustrator. So before we create this comment box, let's take a quick look at how the finished one is made up. It's made up of three separate bits, the type here, and then two closed paths, this one and this one. So it's fairly straightforward. To create this from scratch, we do a new document. Now this is going to go on the web, so I've already chosen from the profile web and I want the size to be roughly 200 by 150 pixels or whatever size I've decided or has been given to me and then I'll use my pen tool to create the two paths so start around here you might notice the green smart guides are keeping that line straight which is useful and every time I click I'm placing another anchor point then when I come back down to where I started, I've got a closed path. That's the first one done. Then do another one. Again, that's now a second closed path. So back to the selection tool. So with that shape selected, I'll give that a black fill. Same with this one. And then with my direct selection tool, I might just take a quick look at this and decide how I want to move these shapes. So I can click in the center of a shape to move the whole thing, or I can click carefully on the edge on one of those anchor points just to adjust that. If I click carefully, I can adjust the individual anchor points. I keep doing that till I get the shape that I want. Okay, so I think I'll work with that. Because I'm in the uh, 2014 version of Creative Cloud, I can round the corners using this new technique, which is to click in the center of the object and grab one of these little white circles. That enables me to adjust how circular the uh, rounded, rather, the edges of the rectangle are. If I was in an earlier version of Illustrator, I'd need to go Effect stylize and round corners to achieve the same effect. So then for the text, click once with the type tool, type what I want to type. Drag over it to select it. Apply the white swatch. Adjust the font using the Bebas font which you can download from somewhere like My Fonts and use for free and then with the selection tool I can manipulate the position of that if I want to adjust the anchor points back to the direct selection tool if I want to adjust the type again then go back up to character so then finally to save that as it's going to go on the web I'm going to use export and save it as a PNG. You don't get that many options but they'll come up in a second. Resolution of the screen, background colour. I'm happy with that so I'll press OK. And that's my comment box created.